Hello everyone. Today I'm reviewing the Deep in Linux 20.5. The welcome screen has remained the same, still dominated by the personalization factor. Deep in looks beautiful. The beautiful interface extends to the App Store. Rounded corners and colorful user interface. Installation of software is easy. You just need to search for the app and then install. Done. It provides you with the software description, rating of the software, and even screenshots of the software that you are going to download. You can also appeal for updating the software if the version available is older. Now some touchscreen devices are also supported. Also the feedback page is added. Do not show installed application is added in the settings of the main menu. So you can just disable the option if you don't want the install application to be shown. Also, there are new prompts for downloading and installation failure. Downloading and installing extensions in app stores are supported for browsers over version 5.5.4. In the files app, there are also several changes. There are custom corner markers that can now be added to the files by third party programs. Custom context menus can be configured by third party programs too. Also, Showing file extensions in file names can be enabled or disabled in settings. Some special characters are supported in file names. The overall user interface is a fresh one. I loved it. Whenever it is cute fish or deep in, the change in the user interface hits fresh. The subtle amount of blur, not much noticeable, but definitely makes a difference. The mail app has also received several new updates. In the new version, now you can jump to new emails directly by clicking system notifications. Automatically receive emails when the network is reconnected. Add folders and remove folders from the favorite folder. Stick common emails and aggregated emails on top. Preview email attachments. Add Gmail, Yahoo, Mail, easily import contacts in vCard. Switch to the character encoding to fix the display error in email body. See the send time in the forwarded email. Send files by clicking send by email option in the right click menu. Receive emails automatically every few days. Last but not the least, you can also get enriched functions of the mail editor. So many changes. The device manager is also updated. The new device manager lets you see attached and working devices. They have also added the feature to disable a certain device. So you can just uh, right click and disable the CPU. Also local drivers of the devices in DEB format can be installed, updated and uninstalled. For customization, Deepin has already has a lovely user interface, but the personalization factor has still remained the same. That is not much flexible. You can apply new icon packs, change transparency, but it is reflected just to the dock. Change the theme between light and dark mode only. They also have some cool wallpapers to choose from. There are also some changes in the grand search. Now file types and extensions can be used as keywords. Also the search scope is enriched in the grand search. In the all new screenshot utility, you can now take scroll shots, pin screenshots while you work. They also have a number of options like you can doodle whatever you want on them and more. System monitor is also updated. The system module has been updated and optimized in the system monitor. Also this is the Geekbench score, a nice one. Now though this is a nice release but there are some problems. Scroll shot does not seem to work. There are some weird glitches. Also come on add some animations at least you are making it looks so very beautiful, there is a lack of animation and it just takes away the fun. Smooth animations at correct speed pulls up the user experience by several units. The mail app uses insecure methods to log in. You need to disable a feature from Google accounts to get access. Also this feature to turn off an important security measure won't be available anymore, probably in a few months or days. So how will you log in then? There is an issue. Uh, the app store looks great, but most of the time it is unable to uh, reach or fetch for contents. And it shows this page. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. And that's it. I'll catch you in the next one.